I became a multimillionaire by the age of 22, and I made a lot of mistakes along the way. Some of these mistakes I wish I hadn't made. I'm gonna give you seven tips today that are going to prevent you from making some of the same mistakes I did. And tip number two is the most common mistake of all. You're probably doing it right now. If you're new to this channel, my name is Munif Ali, and I have built multiple businesses and sold billions of dollars in sales. I bring you a lot of my expertise based on experience, not based on me trying to sell you something. For more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's get into it. Number seven, their income and their expenses are out of bound. That means they are probably bringing in income. So I call it the front door, the back door approach. Their front door's wide open, they're making good money, but their back door's wide open, they're spending a lot of money. So you need to get that in bounds. You need to understand money in your relationship with it. That might mean, no boo, you can't go to no boo. That might mean you can't go to expensive dinners or have drinks every single day of the week. You can't have that expensive purse or that expensive pair of shoes. I'm not saying limit your lifestyle. I'm saying understanding money and respecting how it flows in and how it flows out. Number six is start as early as possible. The best time to start is as early as possible. The second time is to start now. Most Americans don't have more than a thousand dollars in savings so the earlier you start the better it is for you most people think after I finish college after I get married and tomorrow never comes start your savings plan right now it doesn't matter how old you are as long as you start to establish the habit now number five People start to take on bad debt because they've missed number seven. They start spending more. Credit cards, and I'll talk about that later on as well, is for you to utilize in case you need the money for some kind of emergency. It's not to live off of. You can't live off that all the time. And start to establish yourself from not getting into debt in the first place. Now, I'm gonna get a little bit of hate for this, but before you go off to the big college, think about other alternatives like going to the military, maybe getting a GI Bill, maybe getting that to pay for college, maybe starting at a firm or a job that actually pays for college. And get this, maybe you can even go to community college the first two years and save a whole lot of money. Maybe you can do without your car in the first years of your life, establishing yourself as an adult. Number four is what I call the lifestyle drift. So you started, you finally got out of school, you start to establish yourself, you're making more money, but your lifestyle is drifting upward as well. You're making more money, but you're spending more money. And before you know it, you're not making that much at all. You're consistently trying to find another job, another gig, another thing to do, because the more money you're earning, you continue to spend. So have a budget in place. Number three is not paying yourself. So now you're earning money, make sure that you're putting at least 20% to the side. Save your money, learn how to invest it. Get a retirement plan together, go ahead and invest in that. Consistently apply a 20% automatic deduction to your check so you don't think about it all the time. And with all the apps and stuff out there, you can make this possible without too much pain. And now to number two, the most common mistake that most people make all over the country. Before I get to number two, if you're really enjoying this content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one. Number two is not having an emergency account in place. At least six months of reserves. Now, you might say that's really hard, I can't do that, but start to cut down things if you must so you can have six months. Now, why six months? You're doing it for the unexpected things. God forbid someone becomes ill, God forbid you lose your job. God forbid the economy goes sideways and you can't work. At least you have six months. Six months is going to allow you the time to get back on your feet without taking on bad debt. A lot of people lean on credit cards during that time. But think about it. You're going out of a financial crisis and now you've got debt to worry about. So emergency fund is crucial. Number one is that people fear debt. Now, I know a lot of gurus out there tell you to stay away from debt at all costs, and I'm a firm believer in keeping your debt low, but understanding how to utilize debt is crucial and important. Now, for me, I didn't have much in the terms of advice, and I leveraged myself into real estate by actually using debt. The first home that I bought, I actually used some of my credit cards to be able to pay the down payment and the closing costs. Now, if I never started out with debt, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. 
with billions of dollars of sales and a lot of investments. Think about that. I use credit cards, debt, horrible me. I use mortgages and loans, debt, horrible me. Now, learn to utilize debt the right way. There's wrong debt or bad debt and right debt. So don't be afraid of debt. Don't run towards it, but definitely learn to utilize it. Hey, if you want more advice on good debt and bad debt, well, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click here right now.